Once you've logged into REDCap, your landing page will be the REDCap homepage. Here, you can see a reminder that the UCD REDCap is for IRB approved protocol data only. There is also a very quick link to our REDCap info site, which has lots of information about REDCap accounts, REDCap policies and procedures, and all the tutorial videos. There's also a note on this page about how to cite Vanderbilt's grant that helps support REDCap. Next, you have the My Projects page. This is simply a list of all the projects that you have access to. It provides basic information about each project, such as the number of records and fields if you're using surveys, if it's a basic project or a longitudinal one, and whether it's in production or development mode. You can organize your projects into folders. To do this, go to the Organize button. Here, you can enter a folder name, and then pick a different color to show how it should display. Then, you can select it on the drop-down over here and say what projects you want to put in it. Once you save, everything will be in folders, and you can choose to limit or expand how many projects you've seen at any given time. Next, we have the Help and FAQ page. This page contains the general REDCap FAQ. You can either use a Control-F search to look for the topics that you might be interested in, or find them on the drop-down menu. This FAQ is maintained by one of the committees in the REDCap Consortium and is kept very up-to-date. It is a great reference for a lot of basic questions and is especially useful for things like calculations, branching logic, or piping, where you might have to use a specific syntax. For example, the date diff calculation shown on the screen. Next, we have the training videos. These training videos are put out by Vanderbilt University. They're solid videos that explain how to use REDCap, but we do recommend that you use our UCD REDCap videos as a general rule, particularly because those videos are created specifically for the version of REDCap we are on at the moment, whereas Vanderbilt is often on a different instance. It includes things that we consider best practices, and it goes over our policies and procedures. Finally, you have the New Project tab. This is where you'll go to create a new project. You'll simply need to give it a title, choose a purpose. You do not have to know all this information about the PI and the IRB number when you're beginning to design your project. You will need to specify a basic type of research if you're doing a research project. You can choose to assign the project to a specific folder. Project notes are used to describe what the purpose of the project is. This is something that is entirely for your reference. If it's your only REDCap project, you might not need to put anything here. But for example, if you're making a major change to your project and you're testing it in a copy first, you might put that in the project notes. Project notes are a useful place to put any information that you might have a question about in six months. Finally, you have the option on beginning from scratch or from a template. Creating an empty project is pretty self-explanatory. If you're moving a REDCap project from one server for, to another, for example, you're bringing a project from Children's over to the UCD REDCap, you can download the project as an XML file and then upload it that way on the new server. This will copy the data dictionary, potentially the data if you want it, and the metadata on how the project's set up. You also have the option of using a template. Please feel free to play around with using the templates when creating a new REDCap project. It's a great way to learn a little bit more about the system. The only one of the templates I want to discuss right now is the demographics template. This is a template that was created between the IRB board, UCD, and Children's. If you use this template and don't make any changes to the demographics for a minute, then when it comes time to do your continuing review, we have a plugin that you can use that will give you exactly what the IRB wants for your enrollment status. It can reduce something that can take you hours to work out to a five minute task. Once you've made all your choices, you just have to hit create project. And it will take you to the project setup page where you can start building your new project.